today I'm going to introduce this new brush. We named it Perfect Gentleman. It's a we special made this brush for us that the length, the the texture of the hair is all done according to our specification. The reason we wanted to have this brush is that we wanted to have a little bit bouncier texture than the orchid bamboo, um, but then more flexible than the mountain horse. So I would call this as a line brush between orchid bamboo and mountain horse, which is one has a more texture, the other has more um, uh, 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 smooth line. And this brush that possess both um, character, one is give you a sharp line, the other is also able to give you a specific texture. So the first thing I'm going to do is to show you it's a, a longer and fuller brush than orchid bamboo. Here, I have an orchid bamboo here. I'm sorry, it's not fuller, but longer. Skinnier than orchid bamboo, and then um, uh, fuller than the mountain horse. I have one. The left hand side is a mountain horse, the right hand side is an orchid bamboo, the middle is this perfect gentleman. So I'm going to show what the line can do. So I'm just using straight ink on a pea paper. So you can see after four strokes, my tip is not splitting and they stay together. So this, you can tell, is a good line brush. So then I'm doing another line. So this is a vine that you can see, I twist and turn. Again, twist and turn. And it does not split. And then if I wanted to do a orchid petal, um, that's why we are calling it um, Perfect Gentleman because this one brush you can do bamboo, you can do orchid, and you can do chrysanthemum. So if I want to do orchid, oh, by the way, I'm just using very simple uh, com 12 color companion set to avoid any additional instruction on the color blending. So you can use ink, so the So this is orchid if I want to do a, do a s simple daisy-like chrysanthemum,
This is a quality brush because you can see that the whole time I never try to work the tip. The tips stay together. So it's as perfect as you're going to get. So then the next one, I'm going to show you how to do a little bit more line-oriented magnolia. So it doesn't hold too much liquid, so you don't have any problem trying to worry about um, the moisture. So this shows the ability to do line work. One more time, I'm doing a butt on the side, a very small one. So this is my bud. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do a glass orchid composition. Yellow, a little green, a little red.
Pita. Then ink. So this is a simple grass orchid just by this one brush. <laughs> 